Hello students. Okay, we're continuing to work with area of a parallelogram. Again, this is just review. This particular video is going to be on finding the missing dimension of a parallelogram. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my parallelogram again. I'm going to identify each of the areas. So in this case, because we're looking for the missing dimension, we already know what the area is, which is 45 inches squared. Again, this is finding the missing dimension. and that's of a parallelogram. Lello, lello gram. There we go. I'll identify here my right angle, which we don't know what it is. However, I do know what my base is. My base is right here, and it's going to be nine inches. Okay, so this is what we're solving for, which is the H. This right here is our base. The base is a parallel that goes side to side here. The height is where the bases meet up from here to here. So let's go ahead, do our regular formula. Area equals B. times h, okay? And now I'm going to go ahead and because I know what my area is, it's 45. I know what my base is, which is 9. Okay? I do not know what my height is, so I'm going to go ahead and put an h here. Now, simply Putting all we need to do now is identify what our height is. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to divide each side by 9 since I already know what my base is. Okay, and as we know that 9 goes into 9 one time, so that's going to cross cancel that. We're going to bring down this H to find out what our height is. We go ahead and we take this 9 and we divide it into 45. Using your basic math facts, we know that 9 divided into 45 is 5. So our height is 5. To check your work, we'll go right over here, check I'm going to go ahead and just plug in my regular formula equals B H area equals my base is 9 and my height is 5. Since we already know it's 45, that's what they're telling us area equals 9 times 5 is 45 inches squared. So this answer here matches this answer they originally gave us. So we checked our work and it is correct. Excellent. 